Hello again. Welcome back, everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another spirit cocktail creation. That's right. Not a spirit review as I typically do. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is my favorite recipe for a holiday eggnog. It's beginning to be that time of year, and the other day I was pouring this for some friends and family, and my wife was like, you know what, you need to share that recipe with your subscribers and your YouTube viewers. So I was like, all right, I can do that. So what makes this recipe so unique? You know, typically people have tried using bourbons. Some people use rum, Irish whiskey, Scotch whiskeys. Uh, you name it, people have used it. But my favorite of all, believe it or not, is Whippersnapper Oregon Spirit Whiskey. And as you can tell by that fill level, whoo, good stuff, right? What makes Whippersnapper so unique, and I think what makes it work so well in this eggnog recipe, is that it's not a scotch, it's not a bourbon, it's not an Irish whiskey, it's almost the perfect hybrid of the three. And what I mean by that is that he actually begins with a good corn mash, so what any good bourbon would start out with. Uh, to that corn mash, he adds a good heavy amount of malted barley. So that's your base ingredient for all scotch whiskeys. He takes that fermented mash, runs it through his still, which is a copper pot still. That's very important because that's what all Irish whiskeys actually run through, copper pots. That copper pot actually imparts a really nice mouthfeel. It allows a good amount of flavor to still come through the distillate because it's not coming out, you know, sky high proof where it's like a flavorless vodka. It actually comes out maintaining a lot of that good grain flavor. Uh, once that spirit comes out of his still, he actually uses three types of barrels to mature it in. He uses brand new American oak, he uses reused bourbon barrels, and French oak that once held his Pinot Noir wine. Now up in Sheridan, Oregon, uh, the man is actually a wine producer and a spirit producer. He does both, and he does both very well. He actually created Ransom Old Tom Gin, which is my absolute favorite gin for mixing uh, classic cocktails with. All right, but whippersnapper. I'm going to share with you how I do this. Very simple, okay? Pour a good measure of whippersnapper. Ooh. Time to break out another bottle. Eggnog. I usually like to do about a two to one pour, two parts eggnog, one part whippersnapper. It will, you know, as most will, separate just a touch, so just give it a quick little stir. And then to top it off, I always like to use a little fresh grated nutmeg. Just a couple little scratches. And that's it. That's my holiday eggnog. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get to try it out with Whippersnapper. Everybody have a great evening, and cheers.